Hey Libra, happy birthday. Happy birthday Libra, what's poppin'? I hope all is well with you guys. It is officially Libra season. Now, I hope that you will put down there in the comments what day your birthday is so I know what's up with the Libra count. Where, where, you know, how many Libra has we got in the building? I want you guys to have a happy, prosperous, joyful, amazing solar return. You got Mercury in your house, though, right? In retrograde. So does this have you reminiscing back at, reflecting back at certain situations? Does it have you looking back at what's been going on over the last year? Well, let's see what we got going on. I, I, I usually do a birthday read for all the signs when their season comes around as a way of saying thank you for um, participating uh, in the community and on the channel. I appreciate you and all you do and uh, the unique individual uh, energy that you bring. So, with that being said, we're going to do a reading for you. Let me get five cards for you, Libra. Messages for Libra for happy birthday. Take that. Yeah, we are because I saw it. It's your energy too. Hold on, let me get the card. <laughs> Alright. It was way over there. So let's take a look at what's been going on here. So let's talk about what's represented last year. Energy of the sun. Leo energy. So this is you uh, having, I feel like, uh, awakening, okay? An awakening, a uh, self-awareness that puts you in a position where you really start to look at uh, the different relationships around you and how these people treat you and how you allow them to treat you. And I feel like, you know, there's just like a big eureka moment. And so I feel like as a result, you know, this may have been something that opens you up to move you forward to happiness. Because once you um, figured out what the issue was, then you went to work on it. And I feel like this is where your focus was. You wanted happiness. And so you were on a journey to get it, no matter what you had to do. And it was rough for some of you because there were issues with family for a lot of you. Okay? Issues with family. Issues with being in self-denial. Okay? Um, very, you know, dominating, controlling energies. You know, a lot of attraction. You know, and some unfortunately, um, you know, things come in between the connection, whether it's misunderstanding, miscommunication, other people, you know, just things weren't working out, right? So moving forward, what I'm showing here is what you uh, must let go of this year is the Ace of Wands in reverse. So this Ace of Wands in reverse is all about accepting the reality of a situation no longer um, in denial or not seeing it and not understanding it. Also, um, you're letting go of a lot of stress, a lot of aggravation, a lot of frustration, people lying to you, you not being honest with yourself, um, things not being clear, okay? Um, all sorts of things that just put you in a position where you're not able to make the best moves and the best decisions for you. Now, the third card here represents the gift that the universe is going to bring you. Look at this gift. How dope is that? The Ten of Cups. How dope is that, Libra? I mean, that's an amazing gift, right? Like I said, you've been through a lot. The universe see you, and Libra season is setting it off, all right? So your blessings are coming. This is what you're harvesting from Virgo season. Now, this fourth card here says what you should embrace. And I feel like this is your power your sex appeal, your vivaciousness, okay, your um, energy to uh, express yourself in the manner in which you want and not be apologetic and be unapologetic about it, to know where you stand, to know what it is that you truly want, to know what's best for you and to go out there and get it. 
this and also being quick to defend it, your honor or you know your beliefs against whomever doesn't matter now the energies that the universe um, wants you to understand that represents this season this is three of swords now this is Libra energy this is a uh, Saturn and Libra so this season Saturn is all about lessons it's all about learning when something is over when you've outgrown it when you've let it go or when it's time to let it go so I feel like what this season is representing is the fact that you're accepting that. Like I said, with the Ace of Swords in reverse, maybe some of you weren't accepting a situation or someone you were dealing with wasn't accepting that it was over, whomever it was, okay? Or maybe somebody was just in denial about the type of connection that you had with someone, a family member, a friend, a lover, a business partner, whomever, okay? These are more than one connections here where this Ace of Swords is in reverse, so what the energies represent for this season is learning from those mistakes, learning from the pain, learning from the miscommunication, learning from the not knowing when to say when, um, knowing that, yeah, you know, there is some struggle in connections, but there's a certain um, a level of, uh, there's, there should be balance, there should be happiness as well. Um, you know, understanding that sometimes, you know, we may want something so bad that we may not see the red flags or we ignore them until it's to the point where we can't help but see them you know and this is all about self-love and self-improvement because for some of you this may not even be about a relationship you know it could be um you just gaining your confidence and just being happy within right and being confident and happy within I see um, some of you may have decided to come out of the closet as well as far as your, your sexuality. You decided not to hide that anymore. And that could be, um, you know, um, the gift that the universe is giving you. I feel that could be the case. For some of you, it could be children. Okay, we got a lot of Leo energy here. Leo rules the children. Okay. So, you know, there's some beautiful things coming for you guys. And um, that's because there was a lot of lessons learned. Like I said, some of you paid your dues. And so now happiness is for you. Right? <clears throat> what more can you say? Can't say nothing else about that. So that's what I got for you for your happy birthday reading for Libra season 2022. I want to thank you guys for um, being subscribers to the channel and uh, connecting with me in the community and others. Make sure you list your birthday underneath the video. Let me know when, um, <laughs> you know, when your Libra energy is, uh, when it, uh, what's the word I want to use? When you introduce yourself to the world, let's just put it like that. When's your birthday? All right. Let me know below. Let me know what you're doing for your birthday too. I want to know if you're going somewhere, if you're expecting a gift, if you're treating yourself, if you're just going to be chilling, what you're going to do. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe to my other channel. The link's in the box below. It's called Mini Styles of Tarot. All right? I do have a promotional uh, going on for Libra season. Um, you may see it in the comment section uh, probably within the next 24 hours. Uh, feel free to email me about it if you want, but it's the same thing for Virgo season. If you scroll down, you might see the one I did for Virgo season. Um, but it's the same thing for Libra placements. I do it for every sign, every season. So it's all about Libra. All right, so with that being said, happy birthday to you. I wish you all the joy, the love, the peace, the happiness, the uh, abundance of health, wealth, and every aspect uh, for your uh, birthday season. Peace and blessings, Libra.